you ever been presenting a report that you design? It looks amazing, everything's working great, and then someone asks that dreaded question, hey, can you give me more information about that? And in that moment, you might freeze, you might scramble and be like, oh, let me get back to you, I gotta go dive into the data. Maybe you can pull up some other pages and kind of manipulate a little bit in the moment to get there. But if you have a drill through page set up on your report, you are already set up for success. My name is Allison Gonzalez. I'm a Microsoft Certified Trainer here at Pragmatic Works. And in this video, I'm gonna show you how you can set up a drill through page on your Power BI report. Before we get to the video, I just wanna let you know, if you are interested in more in-depth Power BI training, head on over to prag.work slash Allison40, and that's gonna give you 40% off an annual subscription to our on-demand learning platform where you have access to hundreds of different classes. Now, on to the video. So here I have my report. Now, as I'm going through, I'm presenting, I'm showing the, our total sales cost and profit, right? I'm using my slices and showing, hey, when it's cold, here's how we're doing in the US in 2008. Then someone's like, hey, give me some more information on that. Well, I have a drill through page, otherwise known as like a details page or a more information kind of page set up. So I can go right here, do a right click on that data bar and see that detail, see the drill through page. And I can see exactly where I came from, right? I went through that central United States region when the temperature range was cold. And now I can see all of the products that we've sold, their costs, their sales, their profit in this table, along with a nice little chart showing my total sales to date. And now when I wanna go back, I'm like, great, that's fantastic. Thanks for showing me that great level of detail. Let's go back to our main page so we can explore through this more. I can click back, go over to my main page, keep exploring. Maybe I only care about maybe when it's cool, right? Because if we really drop down, let's look at the UK in 2006, right? So I can go to my drill through to my detail page and boom, there we go. I can see the products that were sold. I can see the temperature range, I can see those total sales to date. I can really get to explore and look through my data at a great level of detail. Now you can have multiple drill through pages set up in a report, and I'm gonna show you how you can create one and set that up. So here we are in the Power BI desktop. So I have my report open, and I can see that I have all of my visuals set up and I also have a second page. And this was our drill through page, that details page set up. And I can see on here, right, I have a lot of different filters over in this section on underneath of all of my visuals, right? The main one is total sales. The rest are just some filters of what I came through. And I can easily clear those out to really show you that page at a bare minimum, right? This is that page at its creation. And then as soon as we go over from our report page, whatever, let's say we put on that cold slicer again, I go over to that 2008 bar and I can go right to drill through to details that jumps me over to my details page and boom, there we go. We can see exactly how this is working. I can see the different filters that applied for that data exactly in here as it pulled over. So what we are going to do is we are going to make another drill through page and I'm going to show you how you can put whatever kind of visuals on it you want and how you can connect it over to the main report page. So what I'm going to do to save time, and I think this is a very underutilized tip because I see people starting their pages from brand new all the time, but if you have a page similar to the structure you want for your new page, go ahead and duplicate that page. So right click duplicate and there you go. You have a much easier starting point. So here I brought through the setup of a lot of different things, right? I brought over the slicers that I want to keep at the top. I brought over the name I want to keep. Probably will modify this in little bits. Let me clear this up though, get the other stuff out of the way and then talk about how we can modify this and really build it from scratch. So here we go, we have our drill through page, our details page, right? So our first drill through page, our first details page, 
This one is really all about sales. And the way that this works is that there is, again, that little filter I showed you, but I'm gonna show you why and how that is working and why that retains. So this page is just more in depth about our sales and the products and where we're selling them and the temperature when we're selling them. This is all that fantastic adventures work data, all the bike data that many of you probably will have seen if you've worked with any of those Microsoft um, data sets beforehand. But here we are on our new drill through page. So we already have a drill through page about sales. This is gonna be my detail page. Let's do this about profit. So I'm gonna put this and call it, rename it at the bottom left corner of your screen. We're gonna call this profit details. Now always pay attention to what you are naming these pages because this name will be visible. So you wanna make it very clear to your end user what details, what information they are gonna find on this page. This section over here where we currently have a total sales filter is the way that a drill through page works. I'm gonna remove that total sales filter. And when I remove that filter, you're gonna see that this section now says, add drill through fields here. And this is really how simple it is to set up a drill through page. All you need to do is figure out what data you are using on a report page that you want more information about. So we already looked up total sales, but let's say I want more information about profit. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to see what data I am using in these profit visuals. So I can see I'm using my sales territory country column. I'm using a profit measure over here. I also have profit and target profit and I've got profit. So that seals it. I'm going to be using my profit measure as essentially the link. Anytime I'm using my profit measure in a visual, I want to have the ability to have a details page about that topic. So on my profit details page, my new drill through page, I'm going to bring over from my measure table, I'm gonna bring my profit measure and instead of dragging it into your regular value data field that you would use for your visual, we're gonna put it all the way in the bottom one into that drill through field. So I'm gonna grab profit, I'm gonna pull that down into that drill through field here. We can see that profit filter is working. Now let's look at this upper corner. We now have a back arrow. Anytime that you make a drill through page, you will always get a back button that will take you back to wherever you came from, right? Maybe you're on a 10 page report. All of those profits could, all of those pages could be talking about profit. And in that case, I want to make sure that I have an easy way back to that page I came from, right? Maybe I'm on page three, maybe I'm on page 10, right? I wanna know and easily get back there. So we have this back button. Now, if you have some eagle eyes for details, you may have noticed I don't have that button on our original drill through page. Instead, I have the logo button set up as a back button. This is pretty simple, right? If you have an actual image there, all you need to do is set the action for that. But it gets a little bit tricky when, like I have here, this is just simply part of my background image. So I'm gonna show you a fun little hack to be able to make your background image work as a back button. All we need to do is go over to our insert ribbon. And on our insert ribbon, we have a whole drop down for all of the different buttons that we're able to use. Here's a back button, right? If we didn't get that or we accidentally deleted it, we could always use the back button right from here. But what I wanna do, a little bit more streamlined, right? I wanna link it to my logo. Think of how users are conditioned, right? If you wanna use the back button instead of a logo, go for it. But if you have that branding already set up in your reports, think of how users are conditioned if they are on a website, right? We automatically think now that the website button, that logo is linked back to their homepage. So we can repeat that same kind of process of thinking, hey, we're on this drill through page. I want to go back. I'm going to click on that logo button to take me there. So to do that, all I need to do is click on a blank button here in my button drop down. I'm going to stretch it to fit the space over 
where the logo is at in the background. And then I'm going to come over here to my button formatting. So in my action, we're going to turn on our action and we're going to keep it to the back type, right? We can test this out. We'll come over, we'll do a control click. Boom, gets us back over to the last page we were on, which was details, right? If I came through from report, we can test it out by doing our drill through to our profit details. There we go, right? Let's test that back out to make sure we go to the correct back page. So control click and then boom, right back to where we came from, right? So whatever our previous page is, is that is where we're going to go to. We obviously don't want to have this border around the logo. So let's look at our stylistic options here. Going into your style settings, all the way down, we have a border section. We are just going to turn that off, essentially making the button invisible, but all of the space around the logo is now selectable. So there we go. We've made kind of an invisible button by utilizing just an area on the background page. And that is so helpful anytime you have images set to your background that you wanna to link to different things without having to bring extra images onto your actual report page. So now that I have a back button, I don't need to. I'm gonna go ahead and get rid of this arrow just with a simple delete. Let's rename this instead of drill through page. I'm gonna call this profit details. And then let's go ahead and put some visuals on the page. Now for me, I do not love seeing a table or a matrix on a regular report page, but a details page is where it can shine. So I'm going to go ahead and bring in a table visual. I'm going to make that take up a good amount of space and you can really bring in as many visuals as you have room for. This is all about profit. So I'm going to grab the profit measure. Then I can just grab some extra information I want, right? Maybe I want some customer information, right? Maybe I care about customer details related to profit, right? Just look through your data and really whatever data you want to dive into, that is what you are able to bring over. And you can create one details page, you can create multiples, you can even put some slicers on here to further dive down into your data if you would like to do that, right? If it was not already a filter on the page as it came through, but you would like it to be a filter now, you could do that. Instead of customer for this, I'm gonna go and I'm gonna bring over some product information. I'm gonna bring over the model name, stick that in front of the profit. Let's make that a little bit smaller. And then we can also bring over, let's do a little bar chart, right? You can pick and choose the data you want. So I'm going to go with in my date. Let's go ahead and grab the month. Let's go with month name. And again, I'm going to grab over that profit. So now I can see for whatever month I have selected how that profit is looking. I could also, if I wanted to stack in some other information, right? If I want to see comparison with like total sales, total cost, have those items stacked in there. And you can, of course, rearrange them in your access to get exactly the shape that you would like, right? But details pages, these drill through pages are fantastic for providing that level of granularity that you might not have or want to show on a report page that is an overview page. Now, the last thing that you want to do before you are ready to present your report is hide your detail pages because these are not pages you want someone to interact with on a regular basis as they just navigate through the report. Instead, you only want this page to come up when you've specifically filtered it. So we make sure we have that crossed eye, hit those pages, so that way now when I'm on my main report, I'm giving a fantastic presentation talking about all the differences in my data. And then of course we get that question, well, give me more information, right? So we can do that right click, or I love this feature is that now, I'm gonna say maybe a year or so ago, might even be two years now, when you hover over the data bar, you have your drill through pop up now instead. So I can see I have that details, 
page. That's my original one, my profit one. I can see that drill through page. When I click this back button, we of course do a control click because we're in our builder mode. It takes me back to that main page. Now, when, of course, when I'm navigating with the visuals that contain profit, when I look over there, I can drill through over that profit page. There we go, working seamlessly. I can see my slicers. I can see my cars are working. I can see my table is adjusted and I have all of the information I need to present and deliver either at a very high level overview or getting into those very specific details. So those are drill through pages, incredibly easy to add to your report. Just find the data you want more information about, add in a new page, drag that data to that new field that you have at the bottom of your visualization pane, hide that page, and then stick whatever information you want on that page. I'd also say bonus points if you make a special button, but feel free to use that arrow button instead that it comes with as your default. I hope you enjoyed this video and found it helpful. Please comment below your favorite usage for drill through pages or if it's brand new to you. Of course, don't forget to subscribe to our channel here at Pragmatic Works. We're putting out a few videos a week all about the Power Platform. So we hope to see you here.